This is part two of our tree weaving lesson. Today we will actually get to the weaving part. So let's get started. First we need to make your paper plate into a loom. Place the side with the most notches at the top. So this is where the sky is in your painting. And the part with two notches on the bottom of your painting or the ground. Take a pencil and outline the entire notch so that you know where to cut. Before you actually cut, double check that the one with all of the notches is at the top and the one with two notches is at the bottom. Then cut out each one. Now that we've cut our notches, it's time to warp our loom. Take the end and tape it to the back of your paper plate. Make sure your name is on the back. Then put your loom through the first notch, up to the top, around both of the bottom notches. Then repeat, up to the top notches, around, and then in and out of both bottom notches. Repeat until you're done. Then, take the end of your string and start wrapping it around all of those branches. We're making the tree trunk and we keep going around and around. Try not to pull too tight. Also, make sure you're not wrapping your strings on top of each other. They should be next to each other. So every time you have a new row of string. Keep going until you're happy with the length of your tree trunk. Just before you run out of string, you'll need to tie the end onto one of your branches. Make a loop, put your string through, and pull. Then you're ready to do the leaves. Choose the color that you would like to use for your first set of leaves. Cut about a foot and a half off and then start weaving. Weave using the process of over, under, over, under. Pay close attention to each one to make sure you're doing the right um, steps. Then tie the end on using a loop, put your string through the hole and pull. Then keep weaving, I ended over, so now I need to go under. Under, over, under, over, and then pull all the way through and continue this process until you run out of string. Next, I want to show you what would happen if you accidentally did not alternate. So if I started out under and then went under again and went back, then my string would just come out and fall apart. So it's important that you make sure that if you ended under, then you're going over and vice versa. If you mess up, it's okay, just try again. When you're ready to stop weaving, you can tie off the ends 
or tuck them in and cut off any extras. Just be careful not to cut too close so that it doesn't fall apart. Can't wait to see what you guys create. Good luck.